Okay, so Coach Brianna and I are going to demonstrate our cartwheel workshop lesson plan. Uh, this is a first uh, conditioning circuit, so we want them to move fast, get their energy up, their heart racing, but also do a lot of cartwheel type drills. So over here, we're just going to work on sideways leg swings. So Coach Brianna is going to do sideways leg swings over the cone and back over the cone and back. So they're gonna hopefully realign their hips a bit. Do you wanna do one on the other side? Good. And then another exercise to help them learn how to straighten out their hips is gonna be a front support and some big flutter kicks. Ask them to make sure they're pointing their toes in those flutter kicks so they get used to good form. And then they're going to come to the next bar and they're going to practice being able to kind of drive at the same time as they put their leg down and if you could do it one more time and ask them please to finish with a straight leg behind them if they can good and the next one a little bit of conditioning we're going to do a mountain push-up look inside of the telescope and another mountain push-up look inside the next telescope then we're going to do three really big straddle donkey kicks hands on the eyes open straddle and you can have them start with feet together or in straddle, depending on their level. And then they're gonna come to the next mat. They're gonna jump up and jump down. And the next mat, they're gonna jump up sideways and jump down sideways. And then they're going to come to the beam and they're going to jump open, close, open, close, open, close and then they're going to come to the balance beam and they're going to do their sideways cartwheel drill so butterfly hands jump from side to side make sure to tell them to start before the blue and stop before the blue metal thing so that they don't get hurt on the blue mat they'll th do three tuck donkey kicks and if your kids are advanced enough for fun you can tell them on the last one to do a forward roll in right into the crash mat and then last but not least on the balance beam, they're gonna put their hands on the mat and they're going to jump sideways. And ask, encourage them to squeeze their ankles together for this drill. And that is the first circuit. They can go around three or four times. We're not calling switch, it's cardio, so they're just going around. How do you feel? Do you feel winded? I feel winded. Good. <laughs> so um, after the first cardio circuit, we do around a 10 to 15 minute stretch. Um, make sure not to take too long or that will be the end of your class. And then we're gonna just practice some lunges and tees so they have the entry and exit of their cartwheel. So for the lunge, they'll step over their star and you'll practice on both sides, stepping and back, uh, making sure they have really nice strong arms by their ears. You can you know, push their hands down, make sure that they have strong arms. Um, then you're gonna work on some tees and you're gonna ask them to please make sure that they're covering their e ears with their arms. So they're gonna do a lunge. They're gonna reach for the wall, touch the wall, point their back toe, make sure they have a nice, pretty straight line. So actually, Brianna, you should bring your foot down just a tad so you're in a straight line. Yes, and then have them push off the wall back into a lunge position. So that's the end of their cartwheel. Good, and have them try it on both sides. Beautiful. Um, and after they do it for just a few minutes, they can grab some water and you'll start the next circuit. So uh, for the first circuit of the cartwheel workshop, it's a kind of big circuit. We'll have to teach them a lot of things. Um, so over here on the first one, they're gonna start with one foot on the floor and one foot on top of the cone. Yep, just posing like a model. And then they're going to kick the balloon and step forward into a lunge over the cone. Nice, and they can try it on both sides. And then on the next bar, they're gonna put their hands on the bar and they're gonna jump into a straddle position, up and down. Should be kind of fun, and if they can, let them try to straighten their elbows. You might want to put the bar all the way down to the bottom, or if you need to, grab a purple mat for them to use. Over here on the next bar, they're going to put one foot on the pebble, one foot on the floor, and they're going to do three big kicks backs using their heel drive, and then they'll switch and do the other side. Three big kick backs. Good. Uh, over here, we are going to take one of the bunnies and take him out to play so he's gonna we're gonna bring him out to play and then you can leave him there and then you can jump back in and grab the second bunny and take the next bunny out to play 
or monster. And if you want to, you can take the monster that was out playing and you can bring him back inside or you could put it back in with your hands and do it from the beginning. Over here, we're gonna work on sideways heel drive. So they're gonna start from one knee. Their arms are gonna be by their ears. They're gonna reach sideways for the hands and kick their legs. The one thing I want you to really tell them over here is to work on keeping their ears covered the whole time and to make sure they try it on both sides. On the next uh, drill, we're just working on weight shift over here. So they're gonna start, so over here they're gonna start in a lunge, then they're gonna put their hands on the alligator, one on each color eye, and then they're going to jump over to the other side, a big windmill, and then they'll jump back over to the other side, a big windmill, and they can try their best to keep their arms straight. Um, if that is too advanced for them, they can put their hands on the mat and they can do a straddle over the ball and just shift their weight from side to side. Point your toe, point your toe, point your toe, exactly just like that. Good. Over here on the balance beam, they're just going to work a little bit on their sideways leg kicks. So they're going to kick and tap the um, little cone. They really are just working on pointing their toes and extending nice straight knees and pointed toes. So it's not a big kick, it's just working on nice form. Over here with the balloon, they're going to practice on both sides doing a lunge and turning to sideways. So they're going to stand in a lunge, they're going to take the balloon and they're going to hold a really nice high lunge. Then they're going to turn sideways to the wall, Let's keep holding the balloon. Sorry, I messed that up a bit. They have to go up into a T-tilt then they turn sideways towards the wall and hold for one, two, three. Go back to lunge, and you can, uh, yeah, you can either bring the ball back up or you can drop it inside if you want to, but you really can just bring it up. Um, the basket is just there to hold the balloon, um, and then you can do the same thing on the other side. So to do it on the other side, they literally are going to have to take the basket, move it forward, and go into a lunge on the other side. Good. That's good. I think that's enough. Over here, they're going to take the monster, squeeze it between their ankles, put their hands on the stars, and jump to the other side. They can go back and forth if they would like. Good. On the blue mat, they're going to stand up with their arms by their ears in a beautiful straight body. So over here, they're going to start in a straight body. They're going to step onto the blue mat, reach for the balloon, come back to a lunge, and come back to a straight body. And you can have a bigger balloon. You can also, if they're short, they don't have to actually touch the balloon. They can just reach for it. Mm -hmm. And the trampoline is our fun straddle bop station where they're going to sit in a seated straddle with straight knees and pointed toes. And they're going to engage their abs and squeeze really tight. They're going to see how high they can jump. And some of them might not even be able to get their tissue off the ground. Um, so that's a nice big cartwheel workshop circuit. Okay, so at this point in the cartwheel workshop, you um, might have another 20, 25 minutes left. You might only have 15 minutes left. If you only have 15 minutes left or less, um, do not do this section. But if you have more than 15 minutes um, and you think you have time for two more little sections, then first you can take out the hula hoops and just as a little reminder, have them do some lunges, their arms by their ears, make sure they have strong arms, then have them do some levers where they start in a lunge. They bring their hands down like a seesaw and they come back up like a seesaw. Make sure they're doing it even. That's really important for cartwheels. And then you can have them do some teeter-totters where they come down as a seesaw and then hop. And on, you can have them do it on both sides. Um, and you probably will want to switch the uh, stop there, but if you have a really advanced or small group, you could move on to also kick switches. And I would recommend that before you finish this section, you have them one at a time do their best one, and you can have a kid, like the kids to the left or right, comment one good thing about the other kids, teeters, hotter, or kick switch. Um, after that, you're going to have them all come sit down on the small balance beam, and we're going to finish up with a little bit of a slower section. And the, you're going to call up a child one at a time. The first station is going to be a big lunge on the paw prints and a cartwheel. This could be the spotted station. The second station is going to be a lunge on the blue mat. Their foot should be almost to the end of the blue mat, their front foot. And then they're going to reach sideways on one of the sides of the white line, depending on the side of their cartwheel, finishing a lunge. 
And the last drill is gonna be a heel drive drill where they can put their hands under the mat and they're just gonna work on kicking their legs into a big split, three on each side. Um, after they're done those three stations, they, they're gonna go and sit on the red side of the trampoline a little farther away so they're not where the person is doing the station, a little farther away, Brianna. And then they're going to sit for as long as they can in a tuck hold. And if they need to grab water, they can. So you'll let them know that before so that once you start this little mini circuit, um, you can have the first kid go at the first station, then as soon as she gets to the second station, you'll call the next person um, until they're all sitting on the red at the end. And if you have time, you should hopefully be able to have enough time to do this twice with them. Um, and that is the entire cartwheel workshop. Thank you, Brianna.